For some reason, many of our community members struggle to set up and configure Flowwise. This video is made for all of you who want to get started with Flowwise for free and how you can then implement it on a live system for only $7 per month. I will be as precise as I can on screen, but for everyone who wants to have the full experience, you can always head over to our resource hub to get the full instructions. For everyone who doesn't know, my resource hub is a free website that allows you to get access to all of the templates I created from this video and from my previous videos so that you can take it, implement it into your business and take advantage of it. You will find the link for it down below within the description. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. To get started, there are only two accounts you need. The first one is a GitHub account. If you don't have it yet, you can simply head to github.com and create it for free. I will add a link to it as well within our resource hub. Once you created your account, you can head over to the Flowwise GitHub repository, which looks something like this. And all you need to do is you need to click on fork and fork the repository. I have already done that as you can see, and my repository will be available right here. This is basically a copy of Flowwise that now runs within a project that I just created inside of my account within GitHub. Once you have done that, simply head over to render and create a free account here as well. After you've done that, simply click your dashboard and create a new web service by clicking on the plus button up here and web service. Now we want to build and deploy a server from a GitHub repository, so the first one is what we are going to select. After clicking on next, we will be able to select a repository from our GitHub account. In my example, I'm going to use the Flowwise instance by clicking on connect. Now we can give the web service a name. Since we are working with Flowwise, we simply call it Flowwise. The region is basically where the web service will be hosted. In my case, I simply leave it at Frankfurt, but you can choose a location that is closer to you so that you will have less delay. You can keep the branch at main and you don't need to set anything for the root directory. For the runtime, we leave it at docker. As you're just getting started and you want to try if Flowwise works for you, you simply select the free plan right here. When scrolling down, you will find the environment variables where you have to add one to three specific variables. It really depends on your setup. In my example, I'm first setting an environment variable for the node version, which looks like this, and a value of 18.18.1. You will find all of those values as well inside of our resource hub. Now, since I don't want that Flowwise is available and accessible to anyone in the internet, I also want to add authentication to it, which happens usually with a username and a password. To do that, we simply click on add environment variable and we add our two variables right here. Now we can set a username and a password that is up to our needs. For this example, I keep it simple with a username user and a password of 1234. Once you added all of them, you can simply create the web service. Now you can get yourself a coffee and simply wait until that whole process was deployed onto the server. And this can take up to five to 10 minutes. It really depends on the server and sometimes other delays. If you want, you can take a look behind the scenes and see what happens inside of the installation or deployment process on the web service. While we are waiting for the deploy to be finished, I would also mention that this server in the free version will spin down at some point, which means it will shut down. And since we currently are not storing anything inside of Flowwise, everything you created within the Flowwise instance in the free plan might get lost after this shutdown. To prevent this, you can switch to a paid version, which supports something called disks, where you can basically store that information directly on their server. I will add for you within our resource hub a manual or instructions on how you can configure that information so that you can set it up on a disk. It's basically just setting up some environment variables that you can directly include into the web service, which basically solves all of those problems. But obviously you need to upgrade to one of their paid plans. However, the starter plan is usually sufficient if you just want to try it out and you want to use it for yourself or maybe for one client. So definitely give it a try. You will find the environment variables right over here inside of the environment and you can add them down below by clicking on this button. In our case, it doesn't matter if the data gets lost as I just want to show you how it works and how you can actually play around with Flowwise and how easy it is to set it up. Just note that in case you want to put the more performance onto the server and you want to scale it, this scaling will not be available anymore once you add the disks, so definitely make sure you know before what kind of plans you would like to choose and what fits your needs. In case you plan on having it on a really big environment where you actually have tons of agents running inside of Flowwise, I suggest to take a bigger plan, but if you really just want to install it for yourself or for a single chatbot, it is definitely sufficient if you use the starter plan to host it, which is $7 a month. Once the build process was complete, you can simply find this URL, open it, and you will be able to access Flowwise, and it will ask you to add a username and a password, which is the ones that we set earlier so we set it to user and password 1234 click on login and now we are inside of flowwise and we can actually use it and do whatever we want with it so let's just simply create a chat flow you simply click on the button and you can add whatever you want in here your llms anything you would like your agents so you can even build your assistant api agents right within here with a simple drag and drop thing and you can select them from the list save them and they will also be saved the only thing is that this data will be saved in a cache memory which is gone once the server restarts or shuts down so let's just call that demo bot I I click save it says chat float saved so even if i reload that page it will still be here it might even be here if i redeploy it but i would not take it for granted and that is how easy it is to set up flowwise on your very own server and just to remind you again 
To get it production ready, you need to upgrade to get disk space where you can basically store everything that happens within Flowwise so that you don't lose your data. For small projects, it's enough to have the starter plan. For bigger ones, you can even use the standard plan. All you need to do is to set up some extra environment variables, which you will also find inside of our resource hub. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you have any further questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'm happy to answer them for you.